Hi everyone, welcome back to The Chosen One. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for your support. Today word is, God says stay connected to the phone. Don't hang up. I want to help you. God wants us to stay connected to the phone. God is calling us. God is emailing us. God is trying to reach us over and over again. And the more God is calling us, some of us are hanging up the phone. Some of us are not answering it. Some of us are distracted. Some of us are just saying, Lord, I, I can't answer your call. I, I just don't want to know you. I just don't want to hear you right now. You know, God wants us to stay connected to him. You know, yes, you got a lot of things going on in your life, but you need God. You know, you need God in your life. You need to get your priorities together. You need to stop worrying about yourself. You need to stop worrying about your problems. You need to stop worrying about things around you and worry about your salvation. A lot of us are so lost because we don't have a relationship with God. And a lot of us are confused because we don't have a relationship with God. In Hebrews 4 and 16, it reads, Let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. We need God right now. And I'm just being honest. The way this world going, a lot of people is about to meet hell because people is not willing to know God. I want y'all to understand that God, he wants you to know him. He been telling us to repent, be baptized, turn away. You know, he been telling us to straighten up our life, get our priorities together. And a lot of us are still being lukewarm. Some of us are still faking. We're going to church, then we're dipping and going to the club. We're going to church, then we're dipping and we're going to our boyfriend's house to have sex. Listen, when God connect to you on the phone, answer the phone and say, yes, Lord. When God call you, connect to him and just say, Lord, what you want me to do? When God called me, I answer. I didn't close the phone. I didn't deny the phone call. I said, yes, Lord. Yes. He said, get up out the bed and pray. Come talk to me, Ashley. Come speak to me. It's going to be a time in y'all life where God really going to want that conversation. Some of us, right now, we so stuck in our ways. We don't want to talk to God because you figure, oh, if I talk to God, I can't do what I want to do anymore. Yes, that's true. You have to understand that God wants you to have a good life. He don't want you to live your life in sin. He don't want you to be a hypocrite. He don't want you to be lukewarm. He don't want you to live your life like you got to be sorry all the time. Sometimes y'all repent and then you got to keep apologizing. God said, just live your life the way that I'm telling you to live it. You know, God say, stay connected to me. You got to stay connected to God. Stay connected to the phone. Keep calling. He keep calling you. You're not answering why you keep letting the phone ring? Answer the phone and say, yes, Lord. Just say, yes, God. Yes. All oh, God just wants you to say yes. All you got to do, do you know that phone call? Y'all, yeah. God said that phone call about to save your life. You just need to say, yes, Lord. What is it? And just talk to God because God is near you. God is closer than what you think. I remember when I was in, when I was asleep, I was in a deep, deep sleep and God, he spoke to me. God can speak to y'all if you want to be spoken to. Now, I'm, I don't mean, I'm not being funny, but you got to be willing to talk to God. God calling y'all, y'all still not answering the phone. God was calling me. He was calling me over and over. He kept saying, Ashley, I ain't, you know, I heard him, but I didn't, I didn't answer. Sometimes I didn't answer. But when I heard him call me, one thing about God, he will keep calling you if he wants you to change. I answer. I said, yes, Lord. He said, I want you to change. 
I don't want you to keep, you know, living this lifestyle like this. I said, okay, God. And I told God, I said, God, if I change, I'm losing everything. And he said, yep, you're going to lose a lot, but you're going to gain more. I lost a lot of people just by living my life right. The way that God told me to live it, I lost, I would say, maybe 200 friends, more than that. Because when you're not, let me tell you something, when you're not living that lifestyle in the world, a lot of people ain't going to want to follow you. You only, listen, you only going to have a few friends because you gave up that sinful lifestyle. You may have about four friends on your hand. Me, I can only count four. Four friends. I, I can really just count maybe four. And my subscribers on my channel. That's it. But all I'm saying is we got to we gotta hear God. When God's speaking to us, answer the phone call. Just repent, turn away from sin, and just say, Lord, I'm going to do your will. God is so near to us that he wants us to confess. You have to learn how to apologize for the things you said, the things you did. You know, some of us, we repent over and over and you know you feel sorry sometimes after you repent you feel like you gotta throw up because god been talking to you god been talking to you the way god is talking to you he talking to you through your stomach because the way god talking to you sometimes you may feel bubbles sometimes you may feel like you scared that's the spirit of god in you and when god tell you to stop you need to listen to that voice listen to god that's god you hear a voice that say stop. That's him talking to you. Listen to God. Don't run from him. Listen. And a lot of us, we run because we're scared. You can run all you want. God still won't find you. I ran to hide. I went to sleep and God found me. All I'm saying is do what you got to do to have a closer relationship with God. Get up, repent, turn away from your sins and say, God, have mercy on me. It's time for you to get your life in order now. Don't wait till tomorrow. Don't wait till the next day. Do it now. Lord, I'm sorry. I repent. I'm listening to you right now. It's never too late to start over. It's never too late to do your walk. You got to be consistent with God. A lot of us, you know, we're still playing lukewarm. Some of us, we're still playing, you know, this lifestyle of, I'm here, then I'm going to go to church, and then I'm here. Then, hey, yeah, I'm going to hang with my friends. I'm going to smoke a tree. God going to deal with you. I don't care what you talking about. I was around people that was doing that stuff, and God kept on moving me. When God want to deal with you, he going to find you because you are set apart. You different. I don't care how you trying to fit in the crowd. You a church boy. You a church girl. You ain't going to fit in it. You sound dumb trying to curse. You sound stupid trying to be like everybody else. You got to be yourself. Love yourself. Be you. Don't be like the world. Be who you are. Be what God called you to be. You can do things. Do what the Lord asks you to do. Don't be a follower. Be a leader. You are a leader. Just because you don't follow them does not mean you're a coward. It's because you took a stand for your life. You took a stand to do what God asked you to do. It's going to be a time in everybody's life where they're going to have to take a stand. All this stuff, people thinking God playing with, God ain't playing with a lot of stuff. You don't answer that phone call, you just going to go to hell. And a lot of people going to miss it because they're not willing to listen to the phone call. They think of living this lifestyle of this world influence and doing things of this world and, you know, people loving each other and all this lustful stuff. Mm -mm. God ain't dealing with that stuff. God going to deal with each and one of us. You think you're going to get in heaven doing nasty stuff and think God going to forgive that? Listen, you better come correct and tell God, I, conf I confess, I'm sorry, I repent. You got to come to God right you can't get into heaven until you apologize and live your life right. You got to be saved. I don't care what nobody tell you. You have to have the Holy Ghost. If you don't have the Holy Ghost, you ain't going to heaven. You got to have the Holy Ghost. If you're not saved, you need to get saved now. 
Thank you for watching. God bless you. Change your life for better. Don't change your life because you try to just, listen, stop being a lukewarm Christian. Stop being a lukewarm Christian. You are a lukewarm Christian. You watching me. It's like one minute you in the church, next minute you're fornicating, and next minute you smoking. I live that lifestyle of a sinner. I got tired of that. I wanted something better for my life. That's why I gave God the attention because God wanted me to change. He told me, you listen to me, I can change you. If you do everything I tell you, I can change you. I'm happy that I listened to God's voice because if I didn't listen to his voice, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. It's only certain people, and it is true, certain people God going to pick, God going to choose. He, he want the ones that's bold. If you ain't bold, you ain't humble, you ain't loyal, you, you ain't consistent, God don't want you. You got to learn how to, you got to keep up with God. Doing these videos that I do is hard behind closed doors because I have to figure out where you at. But I'm telling you, God says stay connected to the phone. Don't hang up. I want to help you. God wants to help you, but you keep, you keep hanging up the phone call. Answer the phone. The next time God wake you up at night, say yes, Lord. Don't hang up the phone. Say yes, Lord. What is it, Lord? And he tell you, I need you to get up and pray. I need you to get up and go to your front door and, and pray. Sometimes God will mess with me at night because he need me to pray. He need me to do something. You don't know why God is telling you to pray. God telling you to pray over your family because something get ready to happen. Something get ready to come. Pray. Don't be afraid. Pray over your family. Pray and ask God to touch you and your family. I love you all. Be encouraged. Keep praying. Don't give up. You know, do what you have to do for you and your family. Be encouraged. Answer the phone call because God wants to hear you. He want to hear you. He wants you to start being consistent and start doing what you're supposed to do because God wants you to be bold. He wants you to be real. He wants you to be faithful. He wants to use you the way that you need to be used, but he can't because you're trying to follow the crowd. You're trying to be like the world. You are different, and God love you. Ain't nothing wrong with being different. It's just because you make a stand. Listen to me. You took a stand. You took a, a strong stand. Ever since I gave my life to God, it have not been the same. People left me. People talked about me. People laughed at me. And God said, Ashley, it's all right. I went through a lot, but I still thank God where I'm at. I, I feel God. I hear God. I see God. I know God. I love God. And I'm not afraid to talk about him. If you've been through what I went through, you'd be the same way. You'd be like, wow, God is amazing. Because God wants y'all to answer the phone call. You're not answering the phone call. God trying to talk to y'all. You're not answering the call. You got to pick up the phone and say, Lord, here am I. God is asking you to answer that phone. You want God so bad, but you're not answering that phone call. You got to learn how to confess your sins and turn away from that stuff. God can't hear you because you got sin in the way. Confess, turn away from that sin, and give God your all. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed day and be encouraged. Don't give up, but pray about it. Thank you again.